Hey San Antonio, this is Rob and welcome to the Metalworks tonight. It brings me great pleasure to welcome a band to the show that has always had a great fan support here in San Antonio, a band that has a long history in this town. Let's welcome Mr. Hank Sherman of Merciful Fate. Welcome to San Antonio, Hank. How you doing? Thank you, sir. I'm very good. How are you, Sue? I'm doing fine, man. We're, we're very glad to have you here. Yeah, even with the noise here close to us, <laughs> but you know. Let, let's go ahead. Before we start talking about the new record, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what you guys did after the last tour. Y'all played a lot of shows. Um, you guys always are coming out with new material. Uh, tell me a little bit about what you did after the last tour. Did y'all guys take a little break or did you guys just start writing? Uh, after the last year's tour, I said we did the, the composed so songs for the new album 9. Mm -hmm. And then went into Dallas in uh, February, recorded the album in 40 days. Then we did the prepare for the European tour, all the festivals with Metallica and all that, you know, for about uh, 30 shows. And then we went to South America, Brazil, Chile and Argentina. And then we went home, prepared for the US tour. So it's, you know, just never stops. And uh, now we're here, you know, on you know, on the fifth US tour all together since '84. Wow. So yeah, uh, the new record has been out uh, for a few weeks now. Uh, people really dig it. They they kind of sense that it's going back to a lot of the roots of Merciful Fate. A little bit heavier, a little bit more straight edge. Uh, did you guys plan for the record to come out like that, or did it just happen? Uh, we didn't exactly plan it to come out that, but we planned that. It, you know, we were much more aware and focused and alert about uh, the outcome. You know, say okay, we need to get out of the routine kind of you know recordings, and uh, so every you know one did you know were really you know up there and did their best. Definitely, and that that is definitely showing on this record here. There's much more melody going into it with the vocals again, uh, and they're all a little more straightforward than the earlier works. But you know that you know it still has its kind of complex uh, song here and there, though. But uh, no long songs on this time, you know. So it's you know pretty straight. That's uh, so this takes in uh, for the next record. It it gives us some new directions to work with. Yeah. You, you laid down some heavy, heavy guitar solos for this record. Uh, you and the King have been writing uh, for several years now. Uh, do you still do you still feel right now that you guys are progressing as writers? Uh, yeah, I feel that, you know, I, I don't know. The old songs are pretty good, you know. And I feel they're pretty good. And most of the material tonight will be about 96% of the old ones anyway. Uh, and we're doing four songs from the new album. But uh, I never go back and compare. But uh, I could easily do that, and I could easily imitate kind of the songwriting that you know. I, but I, you know, for me, when I write songs, it's still in the same area. You know, I'm not, I'm not trying to encourage or about trying too much different style. Or, you know, I'm basically keeping, you know, trying to make it better and better. But sometimes it might succeed, other times it might not. You know. You mentioned earlier that uh, you guys recorded the record in Dallas. Yeah, for the fifth time. I don't think that many people uh, in Texas oh. know that. <laughs> so we spent about, within, since 93 to 99, we spent about uh, 12 months, you know, like one year within those five, six years in Dallas recording albums. Why, why Dallas? Because uh, King is living in Dallas and that makes the other guys in the band who lives in Scandinavia have an opportunity to get away from home, get an apartment, uh, just relax and have a car driving around Dallas area. It's a little boring up there, but you know, it's okay. Uh, you guys have always had great videos and people who watch Rob's Metalworks always dig the Merciful Fate videos. Are you guys going to have any new videos coming out? Unfortunately, I don't think uh, we, uh, Mr. Blade invited us to do another video here. I don't know why, you know, they think that it, uh, I think they think it's kind of useless, it's pointed, it's not uh, like uh, you know, like worse doing a video because there are so many countries that doesn't show those. But but I think it's bullshit. I think it's very important to show. The, the only thing that happened is that the, the countries or the stations that shows Mercer fake videos will now only be showing all the other old stuff because they don't have a new one. Right. So, but you know, we cannot kind of we can only wish that we could do another one. But it's something with money and you know all that crap. So. Uh, you guys have been touring. You mentioned earlier you did the, the Metallica tour with, in Europe and done, yeah. done some festivals. What does the rest of this year hold for the band? Will you continue to tour into the new millennium? No, no after we have uh, six shows left now on the uh, US tour, from there everyone goes home. I take a vacation and everyone goes home. And then King Diamond start, as uh, the King Diamond band start writing material. 
and they are going into a studio in Dallas <laughs> uh, on January 3rd. And then it's probably Diamond's turn to kind of start a US tour, European tour, and then most of Fate Khan are in standby position. And in the meantime, all the other guys in the band are having their own projects, you know, Charlie D'Angelo plays in uh, Witchery, right. Arts Enemy, whatever, you know, Synergy, uh, you name it. I have another project, uh, Guitar Player has another project, so, so we are busy, you know, instead of just sitting at home, of course we want to do music, so we just take that energy and creativity into other bands. Before I end, end this interview out, Hank, I want to ask, um, there's a lot of European metal that is coming over uh, into the States and doing very well. Uh, how, do you, how do you feel that that's changed over the, the past decade about American or the United States public accepting more of that European metal? Uh, it has uh, as in, uh, actually uh, always, all, uh, we have always been having good experience with that, with my Fate, of course. And then, like the Judas Priest, I made all you know all these uh, band that was the leaders of the heavy metal. You know they kind of you know started the, the whole thing. But uh, and right now in Europe, there's a lot of heavy metal going on, tons of heavy metal. In America, I'm not too sure how much metal there. You know, as American bands, I'm not quite sure about that. But uh, I think also you know coming from Europe, it's more e exciting. You know, <laughs> a band. You know, and also Black Sabbath. All these bands, all originally kind of from Europe, all the metal heavy rock. So uh, I think Americans always have been thinking that the European stuff is, is more exciting, you know, like it's, it's greener, the grass is greener on the other side, stuff like that, even though there's tons of uh, good bands in, Euro in the US. It so. seems like now they're just getting a lot more distribution. And stuff. Yeah, also that, you know, that, that's uh, very important for, for bands as well, but the, it's just there's so many bands around, so it's so much more difficult. And they are not more biased, so it, it's probably the same, but there's just so many more bands, so it's really tough to, to be a band nowadays cool. than it was, you know, 15, 20 years ago. So. Hey, Hank, I want to thank you, man. For thank you, sir. For taking the time for the fans of San Antonio who want to know about Merciful Fate. This is Rob, and remember, the new one is called Nine. It's out on Metal Blade Records. Be sure to pick it up. Keep it heavy, San Antonio, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.